What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Ju, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I'd like to give you guys some Atlanta Falcons news, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. Continuing to share out my content on all the social media platforms. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jutalk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. So today in Atlanta Falcons news, um, Raheem Morris is starting to put together his coaching staff. Um, he has retained a lot of um, our former coaches, which I think is good news for our Atlanta Falcons because they already have uh, relationships uh, with these players. And that just means that players won't really have to learn um, necessarily a new scheme in certain aspects and they won't have to necessarily learn a bunch of new techniques. They'll kind of know what the coach, uh, the coaches are expecting of them. Uh, so without further ado, um, Raheem Morris has retained um, running backs coach Michael Petrie, uh, who was formerly on the last staff with Arthur Smith. He also is retaining TJ Yates. Uh, TJ Yates was formerly our wide receivers coach, um, but he will now be the quarterback's coach. As we know, TJ Yates is a former quarterback that played in the NFL for a really long time. Uh, so I think that that was a good move to move him from wide receivers coach over to his natural position back at that quarterback uh, position of being that quarterback's coach and working with Desmond Ritter, working with whoever the new quarterback that we'll bring in, possibly in the draft. Uh, we also are retaining Dwayne Ledford, who I think is one of the best offensive line uh, coaches in the game. He's one of those guys that has helped um, our offensive line develop guys like Matthew Bergeron. We've seen that we've had uh, over the last couple seasons, a top five offensive line in the NFL. And bringing back Dwayne Lefford, I think is huge because I do think that he's one of the guys that understands the fundamentals of working with those big guys up front. Um, so I definitely love uh, that we're keeping him on board where he can continue to work with Matthew Bergeron and work with the, uh, the younger guys that we have on this uh, on this uh, team. Guys like Drew Dahlman at that center position that's who's continued to develop. Um, I really think that it's great that we were able to retain him um, as well. Uh, also, we've hired Jimmy Lake um, to be the defensive coordinator for this Atlanta Falcons defense. Uh, Jimmy Lake actually coached uh, with Raheem Morris in L.A. with the L.A. Rams. He was their assistant head coach, but he has a ton of experience when it comes to uh, both. He coached on the college level and he's coached at the NFL level for a really long time. Um, and they state that he's a really good teacher when it comes to uh, the game of football, but definitely on the defensive side of the ball is where his roots are um, at. And they say that he's one of those guys that's been a great defensive coordinator on the college level and on the NFL level. He's been uh, assistant coach, um, assistant head coach. He's been a defensive backs coach. Uh, and he's pretty much done it all. He's been a head coach in college, been a defensive coordinator in college. So he's a guy that has a ton of knowledge. And I'm very interested to see what uh, Jimmy Lake could bring to this defense as that defensive coordinator. But this um, Atlanta Falcons coaching staff is finally starting to come together. They're piecing it together. And I'm glad that they were able to bring back, uh, like as I mentioned, uh, the former coaches that was on the last coaching staff. They also brought back and retained uh, Marquise Williams, who was our special teams coordinator and our special teams coach. Uh, he's been a, doing an excellent job with those guys. Um, working with CP, you know, as a returner, working with uh, Young Way Koo and working with Bradley Pinion. For the most part, we've had a pretty solid special teams unit for the last couple of years. Young Way Koo is one of the best kickers in the league. Bradley Pinion is one of the better punters in the league who's been doing it at a high level for a really long time. And we know that Cordell Patterson it, um, has the record when it comes to kickoff returns for touchdowns. So I definitely think that it was a great um, great news, like I said, that we were able to keep a lot of these coaches on staff. Um, it sucked that we weren't able to keep uh, Ryan Nielsen on this staff, but I'm really impressed uh, with this uh, group of guys that he was able to bring in as the coaches. 
um, on this coaching staff. And I think that this Atlanta Falcons team is moving in the right direction. Um, as I mentioned, because we've kept a lot of these coaches and retained a lot of our coaches, I really feel like Raheem Morris is going to be able to hit the ground running. Um, and these players are going to still feel comfortable uh, with the coaches, you know, that are in there, you know, been in the meeting room with them over the last couple of years. We have a lot of young players uh, on this roster. I'm still interested to see uh, who we're going to bring in to be the wide receivers coach, uh, possibly um, a Terrence Mathis, hopefully, possibly uh, um, Muhammad Sanu. These are names that um, guys that have mentioned that they're interested in being on Raheem Morris's coaching staff. So I hope those guys get a shot as well at possibly being on this coaching staff. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju. Um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for your boy, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 3,000 subs and beyond. I really appreciate all the love you guys have been showing me on the channel, continuing to share out my content. Um, but with that being said, I have a lot more content coming for you guys in the next couple of weeks as well because we have the draft coming up so i have a lot of prospect videos and things of that nature coming up for you guys but as always falcons nation rise up be blessed peace